Okay, good morning everyone. Hello Jennifer, how are you? Good to see some people coming in already. So today is our maybe last fun fold card. It's, I thought, February. Fun fold February, but we'll see because I've actually really been enjoying making them and I don't normally, so um, I'm having a great time making them. So today we are going to make a um, an upright Z fold, but I'm going to do mine a little bit differently. A lot of the cards that I have seen um, have a, well, I'll show you when we get going, but they have a panel um, and then they tuck it under an, a little, well, they make sort of like a... A little thing at the back and they tuck under and that's how it stands but I actually don't want that so I'm going to make mine a little bit different so that mine stands because if you just make a normal Z fold it doesn't want to stand especially when it's upright if it's um, horizontal it's okay but not upright so few things as we are going on and just while everyone is coming in celebration is coming to an end in just five days okay so if there is something that you still wanted to get um, you do have time if you wanted to join you still have time um, so yes so that's ending oh and also my giveaway for the um, mini emboss machine is also coming to an end hi Chris now I didn't introduce myself my name is Alyssa Tilsner if you are watching me for the first time hello if you are watching me on um, the replay hello or YouTube hello so I think that's covered everybody okay so we're going to start our card this is just a half of um, a regular A4 so I've just cut it in half at ten and a half centimeters now as you know I cut my card in a weird size so I thought I would show you I cut mine at 26 centimeters because I like my card um, to be only 30 centim uh, 13 centimeters high. Good morning, Amanda. So we're, I'm just going to trim it off to start with. Keep this piece. Okay, so that's my normal card size base. So then I am going to score it at 13 centimeters, just like I normally would for um, a card. And then I'm going to come across at 19 and a half. So over here at 19 and a half and I'm going to score that as well. Now, on my little piece of leftover, I'm going to put it in at one centimeters on this side, just because it's easier, and I am going to score that as well. So that way, I am using up all of my pieces. Good morning, Kylie. Okay, now as we normally would go, we would fold that over and our card would stand upright, but we're going to fold it the other way so that um, that crease there, that fold, hey Jane, um, is going to be at the bottom instead. And then we're just going to fold that piece over. I'm actually going to open it up to fold that piece there. Okay, so as you can see, our card just does not want to stand. This is our upright Z card. And of course, you know, how on earth are you going to get that to stand? Now, all the other cards that I have seen doing um, a Z fold, they have a panel. Um, what can I use? What can I use? I'll use this. I'll use my packet. They have, they put a panel on the front there and they have like a circle or an embellishment or something. And they slip that underneath and that holds the card upright. But you can't see anything that's on this panel then because your card is effectively closed the whole time. So what I thought I would do is use this scrap piece and that's why I've just scored it at the one centimetre mark and this is going to be like a stand like you have on a picture frame. So I'm just going to use my Stampin' Seal Plus for this because I want to make sure that it definitely sticks. And then, so this is the back of my card. I'm going to fold that over. I'm going to line that up. Just make sure I'm on my fold and not upside down. Line that up with the base of my card and then just stick that there. So now I've got like a little picture frame stand. I hope you can see that. So now my card is going to stand nicely. 
and um, and you can see what you've got on this panel so your card isn't going to be closed so I hope you can I'll put it like that as well so you can see it that direction um, this is going to be tricky to photograph <laughs> so um, so that's what I thought I would do and it doesn't take up any more room when in when you're putting it in your envelope so now we are going to decorate it and I am using the sweet strawberry bundle and this is poppy parade too by the way so i'm using the sweet strawberry bundle which um comes like this and also has a matching um punch to go with it now i'm also going to use uh some of the berry blessings designer series paper now this one is a very delightful designer series paper this one is a celebration level two and also comes with the stamp set the berry blessings as well so um if you didn't have the strawberries you could just use the other berries instead and you can use blueberries or raspberries instead of this one so this one is a great i'll just quickly quickly flip through some of the papers so that you can see you can make them out of all these other gorgeous colors okay so i'm going to use the one with the oops, put it in the pack so i'm just going to put that aside oops fashion everything around this morning okay i am going to be using the piece of paper that has got like the strawberry seeds on it and this one is cut 10 centimeters to 12 and a half so that's going to be my back panel I have a panel that I can write on, so that's 10 centimetres by 6, and then also a panel, I want to make sure I get those up the right way, and also a panel for the front, which is also 10 by 6. So we can get them stuck on. Oh, good morning, everyone. I hope everyone is having a great week so far. Whoops. Well, I'm going to come around this way. There we go. I can't believe we're nearly at the end of February already. It's just crazy. It's flying. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that one in like that. Super easy. Just adhere this one in. So this is your little panel that you can write your sentiments on. sure my little seeds are going in the same direction so again this is probably a fairly quick quick card so there we go we have that showing at the front as well now I am I, I have stamped and colored um, ahead of time but I am going to show you my coloring I did color these ones you, you don't have to color them if you don't want because they are the two-step stamping so you can um, just uh, use the two-step stamping if you want to just speed this up but I thought I haven't colored this set yet and yesterday I made big boo-boo I was going to watercolor everything so I'm just gonna stamp my strawberry outline I was gonna watercolor everything so I pulled out my shimmery card and I pulled out my ink pad and I stamped up a stack of strawberries and leaves. And then I realized that I had stamped in Memento on. And as we know, Memento is a water based and it was not going to work with my, it was not going to work for my watercoloring. So I thought, well, I've never used blends on um, shimmer card before. So I thought, let's have a crack. And it actually turned out really good. So I'm just going to show you because I thought, well, I can either stamp everything again, which I didn't really want to. But um, so, anyway, so I'm going to show you how I colored this in. So I'm using my dark poppy parade and I am going to use the brush tip for this one, but working on the side so as not to damage the tip, I'm just going to flick um some of this dark right into past those little seeds around the edge it's very very quick coloring it's not um it's not highly intensive coloring so they're just a little around the outside there 
then come in with your light poppy parade and just flick that over as well, extending it out a little bit. And then from the other side, a little bit, not quite closing the gap. So we've just got a little bit of white space there. A little bit extra just to blend the line a little bit. Uh, you would use, Kim, for watercolouring, you would use stays on. So, and I did not. So this has given me a really rich, vibrant look. So, um, so that was really simple. That's Poppy Parade. And now Granny Apple Green. And I'm going to go back to my bullet tip for this one. And again, this one is really simple. So just a little bit of dark in the centre of your um, leaf and then I just pulled that out and I didn't even come right to the edges. A little bit over just to do any blending. And then again with my dark, just a little bit up the centre. And that was it, that's all I did. And then I punched out using my punch, which made it super, super easy as well. So I have got a whole heap of them that I have already done. So I have gone ahead and, and I used So Saffron for my um, little strawberry flowers. So And also the, the little stalky thing there, stalky leaf thing. So I've gone ahead and stuck them together and then I've just got a couple of leaves as well. So now I am ready to decorate my car and I just need my sentiment. Oh, I forgot to pull my sentiment out. So I'm going to use the happy birthday sweet thing. I'm still bashing everything around today. Hitting everything. All right. My little bit of grid paper just to give me a little bit of extra. So ink that up with my black. And I'm going to trim pretty close. I'll clean that later. Okay. Just make sure that's nice and dry. So, and this is just on a bit of scrap white I've got lying around. You could probably even flag the ends there if you wanted to. But I'm just going to keep it square. Whoops, a little bit closer. There we go, I should have had that done as well. Okay, now it's assembly time. So I am going to put my happy birthday, you sweet thing, and I'm just gonna put two strawberries and maybe a leaf down there as well. Now they do wanna pop up, so I'm just gonna use my, I should not use a block, just to hold it down so that I can that was a bit stupid, wasn't it? <laughs> In my way, so I took it away, but I need it. So I'm just going to use that just so that I can get a bit of an idea of how I want that to go. So I'm going to put down my strawberries first, I think, and I think I'll use dimensionals to pop them both up just one in the center because that way, if I need to tuck my other leaf underneath it, I've got plenty of room. Very easy. One on top of the other, see, and now I can pop my leaf down wherever I, I can slide it, um, well obviously not there, but I can slide it underneath wherever I fancy. Maybe up there. And I will stick this one down not on a dimensional. And while I've got that there, I'll hold that down as well just to 
hold that in place and then I can put my happy birthday and I like to sort of put my sentiment over the top of my um, little elements here. So I'm going to use a dimensional on, not on this side. I think that was just the top corner there. So a little bit of adhesive there. And that way I can just pop it down like so. Okay, so now we've got the insert, the backing panel, and I'm going to have a little bit of a play to start with, I think. So I just want to make sure that I've got a rough idea of how I'm going to place my strawberries because they're pretty full. I might need to space them out a little bit. It's always fun when you I'm gonna pop these guys on. Mm, something like that. I think we just need a, a good throw down, don't we? Okay, so I'll pull these guys off, take them out, and then I'm just gonna leave them on. I'm gonna separate them a little bit more, I think. And then just adhere these guys down. and then I usually just put a block on top just to hold it in place let the glue set while I'm doing the next one oops 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 can't pick them up and up there and I'm going to put these ones on dimensionals again I'm just going to use one dimensional in the center just so that way, if I want to put any leaves underneath, I can. So now, I have one over there. I have one about there. And I think one down here. Um, this glue pen is um, a two-way glue pen. So we need to ask Stampin' Up! for ours to come back. Um, I try and put it in their product site sandbox uh, every so often so I did it again a couple of weeks ago so it's just a two-way a two-way glue pen and we'll work with that one I don't want to cover up all my leaves I'll put it yeah I'm gonna cover them up maybe I'll put it there try not to cover too much up and then I can just fill in you can go and add more of, of these guys if you wanted to they're just extra fill. Extra fill. So I think it is beautiful and rich and vibrant with the Poppy Parade and the Granny Apple Green. I love Granny Apple Green. It just always seems to um, brighten everything up. I'm going to just put that one over there. So there we have our card. That How quick was that? Really quick, like 20 minutes click quick. Probably, the, well, I mean, I mean, I did color things in, but, but like I said, being the two-step stamping, you don't need to add color if you want. You can just use your two-step. So then hopefully, I don't know whether you're gonna be able to see that, but when I am looking at my card, um, how will I show you? When I am looking at my card, I can actually see my back panel. It's not closed up, so, if my card was on my cupboard or my mantle, um, you can actually see the back panel as well as the front panel. You just can't see what's written in the card. So um, I think that is a really nice way to have your Z fold. Now I did my first card, my first prototype, because I always like to try these things out before I do them live for you, just in case. Um, I used the sweet ice cream um, stamp set and die dies punch this one's got a punch in it as well so i used that one along with the sweet ice cream um thing so and just finished it off with a few of the sequins from the woven threads again just a little stand so that one stands up nicely as well and you can see the ice cream from the inside so there we go a different way of doing your z fold 
So I hope you um, have enjoyed that one. I quite like this strawberry one that's turned out really nice. Turned out better than what I thought. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I like it when that happens. Um, so another one to add to your um, collection of fun folds. Now I do, I still have one project that I still want to show you, um, but it's a pretty full on project. So it's taking me a little while to get time to finish and decorate it. So when I do that, that'll be um, probably a longer video than this one, but um, we, I've got to find the time to get that one finished. So thank you very much for watching me. Don't forget that all of the products are in my online store so you can uh, grab them. I might put some links up. I'll see if I can get some short links so that you can just click on them and then see all the um, products that I've used in them without having to rewatch again if you don't wish. Um, just a reminder, celebration ends in five days, the joining up special ends in five days, and my mini cut and emboss machine ends in five days. Ooh. Okay, so thanks very much for watching, and uh, we will see you again uh, next week. Bye.